investing $10,000 into one of the riskiest ETFs on the market. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we're talking about ticker TSLY and what would happen if you put $10,000 into this fund that has a over 50% dividend yield. Yes, you heard that correctly, 5-0, according to their website, at least. So we're going to cover quite a few things in this video. So watch till the end. Let me know what you guys think about Tesla in the comments. And honestly, verify if you think this is possible. If you think this fund can actually produce this amount of income, let me know. We're going to cover their price action history, the dividend history. We'll check out the website. We'll do a drip calculation to see how you would have done if you bought Tesla in the beginning versus if you buy it now. And all in all, we'll say we'll see exactly how much dividends you would make every single year if you invested $10,000 now and never put more money into it. You just kept that 10K in and you held it for, let's say, 30 years. If you guys missed the video on CONY that had an over 100% dividend yield, yes, you heard that right as well, over 100%. Check that out. I'll link that in the description down below. So let's get started with this history, the price history of this fund. Now, we can see the five year shows it down 64%. Always something to note if you're investing in anything and it's down over 50%. I mean, even a 50% drop is insane, but this thing has come down immensely. We were, it was once trading for almost $44 and now it's trading for just under $15. So in the last six months, it's down 34%. These funds are very, very speculative. One, because they're new and two, because of how they're, they're made, how the contracts are written, the stock it's based off of like for this, it's Tesla. For CONY, it's Coinbase. And for like AMZY, which I haven't done a video on that one yet, I might. It's for Amazon. Um, you want the stock to continue to trend sideways or slightly upward. Now, Tesla is one of the most volatile, large market cap stocks that you can buy. So TSLY has never been one for me just because of that fact. Now, I do have it in the 1K Dividend Account Challenge. If you guys are interested, you can check out that video and see how it's been performing since the beginning of 2024. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna dive into the dividend history. This dividend history is all over the place. So it started paying that dividend in 2023 in January. Paid $2, trended around for a little bit, dropped all the way to 88 cents at one point, back up to $2. And so one thing that is very consistent with most of these income ETFs is the dividend is all over the place. That's because the premiums, how it performed that month, everything changed drastically, changes drastically when you include the option side of things. The only two funds that don't really do this so far is SPYI and QQQI, um, two funds that I really like that I have videos on if you are interested. And the way they write their options contracts minimizes some of that crazy drop um, or increase in price. So with TSLY, one interesting thing is they did do the, the split. They did a one for two stock split, which I'm relatively impartial about. Usually you don't like the reverse stock splits because companies will do a reverse stock split when their price gets too low. Like if, a, if the price per share drops below $5 and a lot of institutions won't invest because it's under $5, they'll do a reverse stock split. So they split and I'm not exactly sure why. Let me know in the comments if you know, but let's take a look at this dividend history. So I've seen the dividends come in every single month since I bought the stock in the dividend account that I have, not my investment account, the TikTok one that I made. And it's really consistent, It so far at least, um, been paying those dividends every single month. So you can see 55 cents, 40 cents, 81 cents, 70 cents, 70 cents. Now, with my $100 worth of this stock, I make about $350 to $450 every single month off of it, which is great. I'm not complaining about that at all. That's a pretty fabulous return, if you ask me. That puts us a little bit around that 50% dividend yield, which is excellent. But in 2023, it was doing a little bit better. We've kind of continued to see it trend downward with some crazy drops sometimes and then back up. But we haven't had anything above $0.81 cents in quite a while. So I'm definitely interested in watching this stock. Like I said, Tesla is a hard one to write covered calls on because the stock itself is all over the place, depending on news and stuff with EVs and stuff with Elon Musk. But the dividend history isn't terrible with this one. It's not my favorite. CONY has been doing much better with their dividend payouts. But TSLY, I believe, is still close to positive in the account. So now let's take a look at the fund. 
So TSLY yield max has a bunch of information on here. You guys can check this out if you're interested. They have a 60 or a 56% dividend yield distribution rate and a 30 day SEC yield of 4.21. And you can go in here and see all the distribu distributions as well. But we already looked at those. And they even say right here, this, this investing in this fund is a high degree of risk, involves a high degree of risk. And we know that because we've watched the price drop 60 something percent. One thing to note too is with the taxes that you pay on these dividends, if you're not investing in like a Roth IRA or a tax exempt account, um, you're going to pay some pretty hefty taxes on top of the potential loss of the fund itself. So remember that if you're ever calculating, oh, TSLY versus realty income, include that tax on both of them, but you're going to be taxed higher if you have a higher dividend income, especially if the price is continuing to drop. So jumping into the next thing, let's go to our drip calculator. We are on dividend.com using their drip calculator chart 10K invested. So how'd you invest in 10K? We're going to put it against SPY. Now here's the rough part. So had you invested 10K into TSLY on November 23 of 2022, you would be negative. You would have lost about $1,400. Well, as if you had invested that in SPY, you would be positive by about $3,300. And that's one thing to note. The problem with these funds, especially especially with um, the option part of TSOY, CONY, is if you're reinvesting dividends. I love reinvesting dividends, but you don't want to be reinvesting dividends on a stock that continues, continues to downtrend because you're putting more money in. Yes, you've made that money off the stock, but it's also going to continue to lose the percentage that the stock drops every year or that the ETF drops, I should say. So you'd actually would have made quite a bit more money, or I should say you wouldn't have lost as much money had you not reinvested dividends. Where SPY is still up uh, over three grand, you would only be down about $700. So this shows that this is a really high risk fund. If you're going to be reinvesting or not reinvesting, you're still at a loss from the beginning, but it's kind of starting to trend a little bit more sideways and Tesla in this time has not done well. That is a really big proponent of this. If we look right here, the peak uh, TSLY with dividends reinvested was over 13,000 at one point, but with Tesla's drop, it continues to fall. So that's why I do like the more consistent funds. We're looking at Coinbase, C-O-N-Y, the fund has been exploding because crypto is on the rise again. It has been the last six months. So the fund has been doing better. The dividend yield has been insane. The price has been going up. There you go. So these are really just higher risk depending on the fund itself. Now, when I look at this, when I'm, one reason I'm interested in like the one on NVIDIA or the one on Amazon is because those are more consistent growth stocks, whereas you can get a good return on the dividend without the worry of it dropping 10% in one day like Tesla does. So that's my two cents on that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the calculation, the fun part to see how much money in dividends we would make every single year. And so the madness begins. Investing $10,000, which I haven't said this yet. Be careful. Be careful with your money. This is not financial advice. This is purely entertainment and potentially educational depending on your investment level. You need to be really careful with how you're investing. It's your money. Make it work for you. Don't be dumb with it. Put it where it should be. If you only have $10,000 and you invest it all in TSLY, I'm not going to think you're a very smart investor. If you have $10,000 and you put $5,000 in TSLY, again, same result. So remember... Be careful, do all your research, don't be dumb. Now, after one year uh, with 56% return rate, we realized that you would end the year, you would have made $5,600 on that $10,000 investment. That's a pretty simple calculation and you're left with $15,600. A phenomenal return. Now this, again, don't be dumb. This is not including that price drop where it dropped 30% this year alone or the last six months alone this does not include that this is if the stock just traded sideways five years Oof. so your total return you're now you've returned eighty two thousand dollars your account is worth ninety two thousand and every year you are getting thirty three thousand dollars in dividends from a ten thousand dollar investment from five years ago it's only going to get worse from here guys and by worse i mean you're going to make more money um, except maybe not now every year after 10 years, you now make $306,000 just in dividends. Your total returns are $843,000 and the total money is $853,000.
10,000 more because that was your initial investment. We're going to jump straight to 20 years. I hope you're ready because I'm not. After 20 years, oh, I, I have to count the decimal spots. You are now making $26 million <laughs> every year off of the dividends. So something tells me that this might be a high risk investment. The fact that after 20 years with 10K invested, you now make $26 million a year. Your account is worth, no, I, I counted that wrong. Yes, I did. 72, almost $73 million. Chump change, right? For TikTok and YouTube investors, that's that's easy money. They make that in five days. And their course is on sale right now. Now, to the third and final number we're going to do, 30 years, calculate my returns. If I can even say this number. Sometimes it gets so high I can't even say it, like on the Coney video. $22 billion produced every year off of dividends. ka -ching. And you have 600 and $21 billion in your bank account. Yeah. Uh, yes. No? Is that $6 trillion? What? One, two, what? Yep, $6.2 trillion. Which makes more sense. So yeah, if you want to be a trillionaire, if Tesla's price doesn't change at all and they, their rate just continues the same, 10 k you're a trillionaire in 30 years. We might actually be able to t retire by then if inflation maintains uh, how it's been going. So all in all, this fund is exactly what you'd expect it to be. It is extremely high risk. There have been moments where it's been high reward, but all in all, it is down pretty heavily over its max life and no chart available. We just looked at it. And so down 64%. I, only, I don't expect it to do anything, but if it dropped more or continued to drop at this rate, I wouldn't be surprised the way that the dividends are distributed. Every high dividend is going to lower the price because they're sending that money to shareholders, which is great if you're a shareholder, but bad if you're a shareholder. So very, very interesting fund. Let me know what you guys think. Is it worth investing money into this for that high yield? Is it not worth it because you're going to lose that money over time? Let me know. Uh, if Tesla rebounds, this thing could do well. But again, let me just point out really quickly, if Tesla rebounds, you are not going to receive the same amount of percent profit that you would if you just own Tesla. These are option funds. So you're going to be missing out. I, I'm just recently getting into options, but I, it makes so much more sense to me now that if you're writing a contract for every week or even every month and the price of Tesla is going up, you're recouping a significant less amount of money simply because you don't own the stock you own contracts and these contracts don't even own the stocks so i hope that makes sense it's really confusing um i love options but they suck sometimes so let me know what you guys think in the comments hit the subscribe button thank you for watching to this part of the video you guys are the best and i appreciate you if you liked this video you're probably gonna like one of these that's gonna be popping up on the screen so check those out for me and let me know and i will see you guys in the next one